Please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, hot dogs. It's finals week. I'm Emily. And I'm Alyssa. Stay tuned for weather, sports, and news. Now sending it over to Weather with Scarlet. Good morning, hot dogs. Today the high will be 53 degrees and the low will be 45. Right now it is currently the lowest, but during lunchtime it's going to be around 49 degrees and after school it's going to be 53 with a chance of rain. That's it for weather. Now back to Alyssa and Emily for more news. Thanks to Scarlett. For lunch today, on lines 1 and 2, chicken nuggets. Line 3, soup and salad bar with chicken and rice soup. Line 4, rotini and assorted stuffed crust pizza. And line 5 is closed. A happy birthday goes out to Fabian Espedio, Damian Lopez, and Charles Smith. Now to Nolan with your latest sports news. Thanks, Emily. I actually have some sports results from over the weekend to report on. So let's get started. <laughs> First, like... <laughs> the most anticipated event of the weekend, our hot dog competition cheer squad was unable to place in the top five at the Indiana Cheer Championships at Newcastle. But that does not mean they didn't have, have an absolutely outstanding performance that even impressed the coaches. And though this season may be over, they're all excited to transition over to the basketball season. In other news, the Frankfurt girls bowling team took down county rival Clinton Prairie and are now 4-1 on the season and are leading the conference. Top bowlers on the night were Clarissa Pittman with a 146 and Jordan Anderson with a 209. And last but not least, our Lady Hot Dog Varsity basketball team opened up the season in an impressive manner, taking down a solid Fountain Central team 54-33. Leaders on the night were Riley Seibert with a 21 points and 9 rebounds, and Kim Kingma with a double-double on the night with 16 points and 10 rebounds. And the Lady Hot Dog JV basketball team fell in a hard-fought loss 27-36, with solid play from Kiyomi Perkins and Jordan Frazier. And that is finally all for sports. Happy birthday, Fabian, and back to the studio with Alyssa. Thanks, Nolan. A congratulation goes out to Alicia Angelos and Jamie Valdez for leading Frankfurt DECA this week in the DECA stock market game. Also, DECA members who sold Audrey's cake rolls are required to pick up their order tomorrow at 6.15 p.m. from FHS. Students are to report to door number three, and it is recommended to bring a cooler. Anyone who is interested in playing and learning more about chess should come to Chess Club. Chess Club meets Tuesdays after school until 4. Talk to Drew Grissom if you have any questions. Want to know a little more about what Hobie is? Well, what a better way than to hear from Riley, who participated in Hobie. It's me, Isaiah, and Riley. And uh, I'm here to talk about Hobie with my main man, Riley. Mike was well, I've been hearing him all week. And uh, what, what is Hobie? Hobie is essentially this leadership conference that is held once a year for soft, <laughs> sophomores hanging into junior year. It is held in every single state around the country. In Indiana, it's held at the University of Indianapolis, which is just outside of Indianapolis. But uh, yeah, essentially at Hobie, which is otherwise known as the Hugh O'Brien Leadership Conference, you learn about uh, different types of leaders and how to be a good leader. Like, uh, it's nowadays it's difficult for someone to be a leader, so for you you to be a leader, this conference this conference can make a world of difference to you and how well of a leader you are. Oh, very interesting. So let's say that I wanted to do it. But how would, how would I have to do that? Uh, so being a sophomore going into junior year, you would go get an application from the counselor's office, and then you would uh, fill out that application, write a short essay about what leadership is, sort of, and then you hand that in to your counselor. They will bring you back in for an interview process, and then out of those who have applied, uh, they will choose one or two of you to go to this conference. Alright, and when is this all due? Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's November 7th. Alright, well, that's all we have time for time for today. Don't forget to turn in your Hobie applications by Friday. Also, the Music Department Fall Festival is today at 7 p.m. in the FHS Theater. Tickets will be $5 for adults and $3 for students. Ready to get your dance on, Evola will be selling tickets at Hawaiian Shaved Eyes from 3 to 8. Also, there is mouth help today after school in Mr. Dudley's room and Mr. Butler's room. 
That's all for the announcements. Make sure to like and subscribe and tune in tomorrow for more of the latest news. Have a happy Monday, hot dogs.